you so much for coming and for um, witnessing our daughter and our son's um, wedding day and wedding celebration. I'm not the spokesperson of the family, it's actually Vincent, but that's why I wrote down what I'm going to say. I already um, said this during the bridal shower, but my daughter requested me to do the same, um, to um, do it again tonight. So here it is. Like many of you moms, I have always prayed for my daughter ever since she was born. I thank God for giving me and entrusting me with a beautiful, thoughtful, and caring daughter who loves Jesus with all her heart. As she grew up, we did things together and became best friends. But I knew she would not be my little girl forever. Vanessa, now that you're older, know that while you may no longer hold my hand, you will always hold my heart and will always be my little girl. As you embark on a new chapter in your life, and that is marriage with Ian, a good man, continue to seek God. A husband and wife can love each other best when they love God first. He'll guide you in the ups and downs of your journey. Rejoice and enjoy each other in your ups and support each other in your downs. Marriage is like a set of fingerprints. Each one is different and beautiful in its own. But the common traits that good marriages share include love, commitment, and respect. As uh, we know, we have a saying that says, you don't marry someone you can't live with. You marry a person who you want, who you cannot live without. Okay, congratulations. I don't know if you still have enough on your uh, glasses, but uh, I would just like to again uh, propose a toast uh, to my son Ian, my daughter Via. We'll always be here for you, but we know that God is always there. So go with Him, always live your life. To live, love, and serve God. Cheers. Yeah.